pleasant morning to everyone i hope you you all are fine everyone so today we are going to discuss about continuously the previous day class the last day i have done a matrix inversion method some example this is also one of the important five mark questions from matrix inversion method so let's move on the topic condition if capital a is equal to 3 into 3 matrix set then b also 3 into 3 matrix set find the products ab and ba first we need to find out ab so ab is equal to a is equal to minus 4 4 4 minus 7 1 3 5 minus 3 minus 1 then b means 1 minus 1 positive 1 1 minus 2 minus 2 2 1 3 so how to simplify the corresponding row multiply with the corresponding column so what will happen minus 4 into 1 minus 4 4 into 1 plus 4 next one 4 into 2 plus 8 next minus 4 into minus 1 positive 4 4 into minus 2 minus 8 4 into 1 positive 4 third row minus 4 into 1 minus 4 4 into minus 2 minus 8 4 into 3 positive 12 second corresponding row of multiply with the corresponding column of second 3 into 3 matrix set minus 7 into 1 minus 7 1 into 1 positive 1 3 into 2 positive 6 minus 7 into minus 1 positive 7 1 into minus 2 minus 2 3 into 1 3 minus 7 into 1 minus 7 1 into minus 2 minus 2 3 into 3 positive 9 5 into 1 positive 5 minus 3 into 1 minus 3 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 again 5 into minus 1 minus 5 minus 3 into minus 2 positive 6 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 next one 5 into 1 5 minus 3 into minus 2 positive 6 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 so listen minus 4 plus 4 cancel means remaining 8 is there here plus 4 and plus 4 means positive 8 8 minus 8 all the time will be cancelled minus 4 minus 8 minus 12 minus 12 positive 12 cancel minus 7 is there plus 1 plus 6 so plus 7 and minus 7 here listen very carefully 7 plus 3 10 10 minus 2 there 8 will be balanced there isn't it then remaining minus 7 minus 2 means minus 9 positive 9 cancel 5 minus 3 minus 2 means minus 5 plus 5 cancel 6 balance minus 5 minus 1 so minus 6 sorry minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 plus 6 cancel here we have the balance 5 plus 6 equal to 9 11 11 minus 3 is equal to 8 balance therefore a b is equal to 8 0 0 0 8 0 0 0 8 is there then 8 a common outside means 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is already you know already i have done so many problems this is called i3 because identity matrix of 3 into 3 so we can write it 8 into i3 therefore we can write it directly a b is equal to what is the value 8 i3 now i am moving to b a so how to find out the b a how to find out the b a so b a is equal to b 1 minus 1 positive 1 1 minus 2 minus 2 2 1 3 then minus 4 4 4 minus 7 1 3 5 minus 3 minus 1 in the same concept corresponding row multiply with the corresponding column of second 3 into 3 matrix set so 1 into minus 4 minus 4 again minus 1 into minus 7 positive 7 1 into 5 positive 5 again 1 into 4 4 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 1 into minus 3 minus 3 so 1 into 4 4 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 1 into minus 1 minus 1 here 1 into 
Next second row, isn't it? So 1 into minus 4, minus 4, minus 2 into 7, positive 14, minus 2 into 5, minus 10. Again 1 into 4, 4, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, minus 2 into 3, positive 6. Next one, 1 into 4, 4, minus 2 into 3, minus 6, minus 2 into minus 1, positive 2. So third row, isn't it? 2 into minus 4, minus 8, 1 into minus 7, minus 7, 3 into 5, positive 15, 2 into 4, 8, 1 into 1, positive 1, 3 into minus 3, minus 9. Next one, 2 into 4, 8, 1 into 3, positive 3, 3 into minus 1, minus 3. Therefore, so plus 7 plus 5 means here balance 12 minus 5, 8 will come here. 4 minus 1 minus 3 means minus 4. Here minus 3 minus 1, positive 4 cancel. Here plus 14 is there, minus 4, 10, minus 10 means positive 14 will be cancel. Here look at there, 6 plus 4 means 10, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 will come. Here plus 4 plus 2 means 6, minus 6 cancel. Minus 8 minus 7, minus 15 plus positive 15 cancel. Here 8 plus 1, 9, 9 minus 9. Here 8 plus 3, 11, 11 minus 3 means positive 8. Therefore, BA is equal to 800080008. So, 8 a common outside means 100010001. This is also already you know what is the meaning? 8 I3. Therefore, BA also. So, BA also 8 I3. So, after find out. So, from this true answer, we know one property. What is the property? A into adjoint of A is equal to, adjoint of A into A is equal to, determinant of A into I3. See, A considered for normal matrix means B considered for adjoint of A. Then, again opposite term, again B into A is equal to determinant of A. Therefore, from this true answer de definitely we can say determinant a is equal to what is the value so determinant of a is equal to positive 8 so property is over then again one more point they have given find the products is over solve the system of linear equation what is the three type of equation x minus y positive one, positive set that means 1 minus 1 positive 1 then 1 1 minus 2 minus 2 third equation true 1 3 so represent as x y z then constant 4 9 1 4 9 1 this is called capital a means this is called x means b then how to find out the matrix inversion method a inverse b what is the meaning of a inverse a inverse means 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of A. Then, so determinant of A into adjoint of A means, just now we found what is the value of determinant of A? Positive 8. Then how to find out the adjoint of A? How to find out? Already you know, one formula is a transverse of cofactor matrix. From this property, we can write directly. Already we know, this is a property. This is considered for adjoint of A means that is opposite of the term. This is the whole term will be equal, no? So definitely we can say this is A into adjoint of A. This is considered for adjoint of A means this is we can say, no, directly capital A. So opposite of A, it's called adjoint of A from this property. Therefore, adjoint of A is equal to minus 4, 4, 4. Then minus 7, 1, 3, 5, minus 3, minus 1. If you do sines conversion plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus means definitely you will get the answer. If you apply this is called adjoint of A means you will get the same answer. Okay, you, we can write directly because the properties we have proved. So we found now you determine the A also over adjoint of A also over. Therefore, how to substitute this formula?
so a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a is equal to value will be 8 then adjoint of a means minus 4 4 4 then minus 7 1 3 5 minus 3 minus 1 then constant of the term 4 9 1 4 9 1 therefore One by eight multiply now minus four into four minus sixteen four into nine positive thirty six again four into one four second row of multiply corresponding column minus seven into four minus twenty eight one into nine nine three into one three minus five into four positive twenty minus three into nine minus twenty seven minus one into one minus one again one by eight so one by eight means C 36 plus 4 40 40 minus 16 means positive 24 again 9 plus 3 12 12 minus 28 means minus 16 here minus 28 to 20 definitely minus 8 is there each and every time divided by 8 this is 24 divided by 8 minus 16 divided by 8 minus 8 divided by 8 therefore can say you no know, so x y is at is equal to here no need 24 divided by 8 3 will come minus 16 divided by 2 minus 2 will come minus 8 by 8 means minus 1 will come so from this term x is equal to we can say positive 3 y we can say minus 2 then z we can say minus 1 okay for verification So for verification, okay, I consider for the second equation. What is the equation? X minus 2y minus 2x. X is equal to what is the value? 3 minus 2 into y is equal to minus 2. Again minus 2. Z is equal to minus 1. Simplify now 3. 3 minus 2 into minus 2 means positive 4. Here minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 1 means positive 2. Look at there 4 plus 3 7, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. We have proved or HS. So our answer also correct. What is the final answer? X is equal to 3, Y is equal to minus 2, Z is equal to minus 1. So please listen. Actually, the same model exercise one question is there from this matrix inversion method. Do it your own self. Next class, if you have any doubt, you can put in command box. I am ready to clarify your doubts also. So I am continuously one more exercise questions from this. Okay, let's see, see on wait. So one of the important five more questions from exercise 1.3. Okay, question number five, the last question. So some question is there for do yourself. Don't worry about it. I am always with you. If you have any doubt, please ask me uh, through command or whenever the reopen, definitely I will help you. Okay. So moving to the questions, the prices of three commodities A, B and C are rupees X, Y and Z per units respectively. So one person, the person A, P purchase four units of B and sells two units of A and five units of C. One of the last point look at there, what is the main point? And that is important point, and the line how to yen actually without selling definitely we can yen isn't it so we will sell some products then only we can yen so one by one will be discussed the p person p purchase solution person p purchasing four units of b so purchasing means definitely it will be minus so four units of b means okay a consider for x then b consider for y and c consider for z means so purchasing means negative time, negative sign. So four units of B means negative four Y, negative four Y. Then sells two units of A. Two units of A means two X. Then five units of C. Five units of C means five is that is equal to what is the earning respectively? P earning fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. This is called equation number one. Moving to next condition, the person P is over, moving to person Q. 
person Q purchasing two units of C. C means what is the meaning? Z. So minus two is Z. Then sells three units of A. Three units of A means three X. Then one unit of B. One unit of B means Y is equal to what is the earning? Thousand. This is called equation number two. Next one, person Q, isn't it? So, sorry, person R purchasing one unit of A, one unit of purchasing minus X, sells three units of B. Three units of B means three Y. Then one unit of C, one unit of C means Z is equal to, what is the earning actually? Person R, 4000. Okay, this is called equation number three. First, to rearrange it, like X, Y, Z order, isn't it? So, first condition 2x minus 4y plus 5z is equal to 15,000. Next one 3x plus y minus 2z is equal to 1000. Third equation minus x plus 3y plus z is equal to 4000. Now, how to arranging the matrix order? Matrix form, 3 into 3 matrix form. True, minus 4, positive 5. True, minus 4, positive 5. Then 3, 1, minus 2. 3, 1, minus 2. Minus 1, 3, 1. Minus 1, 3, 1. This is x, y, z. Is equal to constant 15,000. It's not the end of the space. So I will write it here. 15,000. Then second, 1,000. Fourth one. Sorry, third row. 4,000, isn't it? So, what is the meaning of matrix inversion method? So, matrix inversion method means capital AX is equal to B. This is considered for capital A means. This is considered for X means the constant value will be equal to capital B. Then how to find out the X? A inverse B. What is the meaning of A inverse? 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. So 1 by, so A inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. How to find out the determinant of A? So determinant of A means true if you skip row and column 2 means 1 into 1, 1. Then cross multiply means positive 6. Next one, already we have common minus. Minus into minus plus 4. 3 into 1, 3. Cross multiply minus 1, minus 2. Both of minus means again will be minus will come. So minus 2. Last term, positive 5 means. So positive 5 means 3 into 3, 9. Cross multiply means plus 1. Therefore, true 6 plus 1 means 7. Then plus 4 means 3 minus 2, positive 1. Again, plus 5 means 9 plus 1, 10. Again, 2 into 7, 14. Again, plus 4 into 1 means 4. 5 into 10, 50. Therefore, determinant of A is equal to positive 68, isn't it? What is the value? Determinant of A is equal to positive 68 okay then we need actually adjoint of a what is the meaning of adjoint of a transverse of cofactor matrix cofactor transverse of cofactor matrix how to find out the cofactor Cofactor means uh, science conversion plus minus plus minus plus minus again plus minus plus. Then first we need plus means if you skip row and column of row and column of 2 means 1 into 1, 1. Then cross multiply 3 into minus 2 means minus 6. Whenever cross multiply means extra minus will be added. Therefore, we can write it positive 6. Then Science conversion, if you skip row and column of minus 4 means 3 into 1, 3. Again, cross multiply means minus 2. Then, next science conversion, positive. If you skip row and column of 5 means 3 into 3, 9. Cross multiply means 
minus plus 1 will come. Next second row minus sign. Again if you skip row and column of 3 means minus 4 into 1 minus 4. Again 3 into 5 minus 15. Next one positive. Again if you skip row and column of 2 into 1 true. Minus 1 into 5 means extra minus will be added. The last signs conversion minus. Again, if you skip round column of minus 2 means 2 into 3, 6, minus 1 into minus 4, again minus 4 will come. Last 1 plus sign, isn't it? Minus 4 into minus 2 means positive 8. Again, cross multiply means minus 5. Then, minus of, if you skip round column of 3 means 2 into minus 2, minus 4, cross multiply means minus 15. The last one science conversion plus means 2 into 1 true cross multiply means positive 12 isn't it. Listen the last one 3 into minus 4 means minus 12 cross multiply means common minus will be added extra man. So 2 plus 2. Now just we have to add each and every time. This is 6 plus 1 7 3 minus 2, 1, outside common minus is minus 1, 9 plus 1, 10, positive 10, minus 4, minus 15. So, minus 19, outside common minus is therefore positive 19, 2 plus 5, 7, 6 minus 4, 2, outside common minus is there. So, minus 2, 8 minus 5, 3, minus 4, minus 15. So, minus 19, outside common minus, that's why this is positive 19. Here, 2 plus 12, so positive 14 will come. This is, what is the name? cofactor but we need adjoint of a isn't it so how to find out the adjoint of a transpose isn't it i will write it here so adjoint of a row we should be write column 7 minus 1 10 we should be write it column 7 minus 1 10 19 7 minus 2 19 7 minus 2 3 19 14 3 19 14 this is called adjoint of a so, adjoint of A is also over, determinant A also over. Then, what is the meaning of inverse matrix inversion method? X is equal to A inverse B. So, matrix inversion method AX is equal to B means X is equal to A inverse B. So, a inverse B means capital X is equal to what is the meaning of A inverse? 1 by determinant of A. Determinant of A is equal to 68, isn't it? 1 by 68 in the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is equal to 7, 19, 3, minus 1, 7, 19, 10, minus 2, 14. Then B constant value 15,000. 1000, 4000, 15000, 1000 and 4000 isn't it? So, multiply clearly isn't it? The first one x is equal to, okay I will multiply each and every answer, 15 into 7, what the answer? 15 into 7 means 5 7 are 35, carry will be 3, 1 7 are 7, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So, 1 0 5 then added this is 1 by 68 constant. So, 1, 0, 5. Added how many 0? 3, 0. Next one, only 1 into 19. So, we can write now positive 19,000. Here, 3 into 4, 12. 12,000. Then, second row, minus 1 into 15. So, directly we can write to minus 15,000. Here, 7 into 1,000. So, 7,000. 19 into 4. 19 into 4 means... 76 isn't it so positive 76 thousand here listen very carefully add one zero only because 15,000 is 10 just add one zero we can write it here four zero minus two into thousand so minus two thousand here 14 into four 14 into four means 10 fours are 40 four fours are 16 so 40 plus 16 is equal to positive 56 then how many zero added three zero we should be added then Listen now, so adjoint of A is clear. So now, first row, everything positive, isn't it? Everything positive means 
one zero five nineteen and twelve. Add it now. So nine plus five fourteen. Fourteen plus two sixteen. So one is there. So one plus three. Definitely three will come. One thirty six and how many zero added? Three zero will be added. So one three x is equal to one by sixty eight. One three six and three zero will be added. Next condition positive value seventy six and seven. Seventy six thousand and seven thousand zero zero zero. Seven plus six thirteen one so eighty three. Then minus fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. What will happen? Zero zero zero. So thirteen minus five means eight will come. Seven minus one sixty eight. Here sixty eight thousand. Third one fifteen plus fifty six. So fifteen four zero. Fifty six thousand three zero. Add it first. Zero zero zero. Six five plus five, ten, zero one one plus one so two zero six minus two thousand only, minus two thousand. What will happen? Zero 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 six minus four six minus two four again zero added two zero only, isn't it? So look at there. This is actually check it clearly fifty six thousand and fifteen thousand. So six. Five plus five ten zero one two zero six so two zero four two zero four means answer actually sixty eight into three eight three is a twenty four two six three six are eighteen eighteen plus two twenty yeah it's correct no value will be two zero four and a triple zero we can say no see one thirty six sixty eight double of sixty eight means one thirty six therefore. Double of one thirty six. So double of one thirty six means you can write it. First answer will be two thousand. Next one sixty eight divided by sixty eight one thousand. Last one just now we wrote no into three. So triple of sixty eight means value will be two zero four. We can write it three thousand. Therefore x answer two thousand. Then y answer thousand. Is that answer three thousand? Okay, this is our final answer. Okay, please listen, my dear students. One of the important questions. If you have any doubt, please put in comment box, and don't forget to do remaining the question. That is, students work out. You have to do. I am always with you. Practice is make a perfect experience. If you do more practice, definitely you can be able whatever the type of the questions. Okay, okay. I will continue the next rule. Grammar rule will be see. So I am moving to how to apply the grammar rule. So first I will start basic concept. Okay. Grammar's rule. Okay, consider for the three different type of the equation. The term actually three uh, x minus four y plus z is equal to b one. Then minus eight x plus six y minus four z is equal to b two. Then three x minus Seven y minus fourteen is that is equal to b three. Consider for the three the basic equation form. Okay, that is actually one of the two important rules is there in Cramer's rule. How when you apply the Cramer's rule, it is always the square matrix form. Square matrix form means whether three into three or two into two or five into five. That time only you can apply the Cramer's rule. Then even non singular time also. What is the meaning of non singular? Definitely. If you consider the whole term, del means always is not equal to zero. That is called non-singular. So then, when you cannot be applied, when con apply the Cramer's rule means if del is equal to zero means con apply in Cramer's rule. Okay, always it will be square matrix. Then another one points it is always non-singular. Okay, del not equal to zero. Okay, I will prove this example. This is consider for del means what is the value is there del. Del three minus four one then minus eight six minus four three minus seven minus fourteen. This is what is the meaning? Always is not equal to zero. After find out the determinant term, always not equal to zero. Then only we can apply Cramer's rule. Then how to find out the del one? Del one instead of the first row, 
instead of the first row we can write it the constant number whenever you move on the question you will understand deep more okay instead of first row we can write it b1 sorry first column no b1 b2 b3 remaining the time as it is minus 4 1 then 6 minus 4 minus 7 and minus 14 this is also always not equal to 0 then how to find out the del 2 del 2 means uh, so instead of the column 2 we can write it the a uh, given constant constant here del 2 is equal to del 1 as it is 3 minus 8 3 then del 2 means b1 b2 b3 then 1 minus 4 minus 14 this is also not equal to 0 then we will find definitely we will get one answer okay so del 3 means what is the meaning column 1 column 2 as it is 3 minus 8 to 3 minus 4 6 minus 7 column 3 means b1 b2 and b3 this is also we will get one result then how to find out the uh, separate time separate time means x and y means x is equal to what is the meaning del 1 by del what is the meaning of y del 2 by del then what is the meaning of z del 3 by del okay this is the concept of grammar's rule so you will get it more idea i am moving to when you apply one questions okay so listen i am moving to example 1.25 okay from this grammar's rule example 1.25 so question solve by grammar's rule example 1.25 solve by grammar's rule the system of equation the system of the system of equation what is the three equation x1 minus x2 is equal to 3 second equation 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 17 third equation x2 plus x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 7 okay so listen so first we x1 minus true x1 and x2 are possible is there x3 is not available so we can write it first we need to find out del means a determinant x1 value 1 is there x2 value also okay minus 1 is so x3 is not available we can write it 0 as well as the second condition 2 3 and 4 next one x1 is not available we can write it 0 then x2 positive 1 x3 true okay first we need to find out del value how to find out the del value science conversion plus minus plus means first we can write it 1 means 3 into 2 6 cross multiply means minus 4 again common minus is so minus into minus plus 1 again 2 into 2 4 only will come because their cross multiply 0 is there okay so 4 plus minus 0 means only 0, 0 will come therefore remaining 6 minus 4 true plus 4 into 1 means 4 answer will be 6 so therefore we can say this is not equal to 0 so we can say it is called non singular then how to find out the del 1 so del 1 means instead of column 1 we can write a constant 3 17 7 3 17 7 remaining minus 1 3 1 0 4 and true how to simplify again 3 means 3 into 2 6 cross multiply means minus 4 second condition minus into minus plus isn't it plus means 17 into 2 34 remaining 7 4s are 28 so minus 28 here 3 into 6 minus 4 means true 34 minus 28 34 minus 28 means there is only one will come isn't it so 1 into 34 minus 28 means positive 6 again 3 into 2 6 here also 6 the value will be positive 12 
So del 1 is over, moving to del 2. So del 2, we need the question, isn't it? So how to find out the del 2? Del 1 as it is 1 to 0, 1 to 0, del 2, 3, 17, 7, 3, 17, 7, then del 3, 0, 4, 2. 0, 4, 2. What will happen? Science conversion 1 means 17 into 2, 34. Cross multiply means minus 28. Here common minus 3 into, again cross multiply means only 4 will come. Next time will be 0, no? Again 34 minus 28, positive 6, minus 3 into 4 means minus 12. Answer will be minus 6. So del 2 also over. We need some spaces, listen. Okay, I will write it. Okay, just write it. Del 1, what we found actually, del 1 is equal to positive 12, isn't it? Just write with these places, isn't it? Del 1, we have found 12. I have written here, okay. We need to find out del 3. So, del 3 is equal to del 1, del 2 as it is 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 3, 1, minus 1, 3, 1, del 3, 3, 17, 7, 3, 17, 7. Here, 1 into 3 into 7, 21, 1 into 17, minus 17, again positive 1, 2, here 0, no? Here 0, isn't it? Positive 1 means 2 into 7. 14 cross multiply means 0 next one here plus 3 is there again 2 into 1 true next time will be 0 isn't it so therefore 21 minus 17 4 1 into 14 14 3 into 2 6 look at there 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 14 24 this is called del 3 isn't it therefore del 1 we have 12 del 2 del 2 we have minus 6 del 3 we have 24 therefore so del 1 del 1 is equal to 12 then del 2 is equal to del 2 is equal to minus 6 then del 3 is equal to just now we found 24 del value we have 6 isn't it so del is equal to 6 therefore how to find out the x1 del 1 by del then how to find out the x2 del 2 divided by del how to find out the x3 del 3 divided by del so del 1 12 divided by 6 value will be true then x2 means minus 6 divided by positive 6 that is called minus 1 del 3 value 24 24 divided by 6 that is answer 4 check it okay and consider for the second equation 2 into x1 2 into x1 2 into x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 so 2 into x1 is equal to true then 3 into x2 is equal to minus 1 then plus 4 x3 is equal to 4 2 into 2 4 3 into 1 minus 3 4 into 4 16 16 plus 4 20 20 minus 3 is equal to 17 see we have proved our answer. so our answer also correct therefore we can say x1 is equal to true x2 is equal to minus 1 x3 is equal to 4 okay so please listen my dear students one of the important for the three mark also next class I will move on one of the important five mark questions from Kramer's rule. Okay, let's keep it on touch. Okay, thank you, my dears. Bye bye.